Hi, I'm Fauzi, and welcome to Chess Tube Tree. Today, we're diving into a fascinating experiment at the intersection of AI and chess. With the incredible advancements in coding abilities of large language models and the explosion of popularity of vibe coding, I got to thinking, can these models create functional chess engines from scratch? And even more exciting, how strong can they become? We're embarking on a journey to see how far we can push the capabilities of LLMs in chess engine development. In the future, I envision creating specialized tournaments, LLM chess championships, where engines built and refined by different LLMs compete head-to-head, -head, models such as Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, Llama, and more. But today, we're starting small. We'll be focusing on Gemini Pro 2.5 to explore its abilities. Oh, and before we get started, a little about me. Yay! I'm also a developer on Stockfish. For those unfamiliar, Stockfish is the dominant chess-playing entity in the universe. I may not be the smartest or the brightest among Stockfish active developers, but I am certainly among the most active. All right, enough preamble. Let's get this experiment underway. For the first part, I created a prompt that asks the model to build a simple chess engine from scratch in C++. The idea is to keep things minimal, just the core logic needed to play a legal game of chess and communicate using the UCI protocol. The engine should generate only legal moves, make random selections and recognize checkmate and draws. Everything should be written in a single CPP file and it should compile cleanly using G++. We will then focus on improving the chess power in the subsequent rounds after making sure we have a working engine. Okay, let's start by copying the code generated by Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now we paste it into a CPP file. Time to compile. Uh-oh, we've got an error. No worries, boys. Let's copy and paste that error back into Gemini. Let him cook. I said let him cook. 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 All right. Now we paste the adjusted version. Faster, please. Tada! Compile successful. Let's install it into Arena. And run a few moves to check if anything obvious is broken. Aha! Aha! Yes. Yes. Aha! Aha! Yes. Yes. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's test a few edge cases. En passant. Stalemate. And finally, checkmate. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Everything looks solid. I know the ideal thing would be to run a full perf test, but this video is about vibe coding, so we'll skip that for now and maybe revisit it when things get more serious. All right, let's test this monster we just created. Time to put it to the test. Unleash the stockfish. Level zero skill, obviously. But wait, let's first see how strong this level should be. Okay. 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 Oh, 1,320 rating. Not bad. But who the hell wrote this code in such an ugly way? O 
Oh wait, hello, it's me. Let's give Stockfish his due. And now let's start the tournament. What name should we give to this amazing tournament? I think 30 seconds are enough for the monstrosities that we will see. Let the fight begin. All right. Okay. Okay. Our hero moves instantly. He knows what he is doing. Hmm. Or maybe not. Good game nevertheless. I will spare you the rest of the games. I will update you with the final result soon. A few moments later. Okay, our cute little engine lost all 10 games. But hey, that was expected. We asked the LLM to create an engine that just plays random moves. She won't be demoralized. Why did I call her she? Because I decided so. In the next video, we'll be ready for the next round where we'll ask Gemini to improve her playing strength. Let's also give this cute little engine a name. Comment below with your suggestions and subscribe to witness this engine become the world champion. Mark my words, one day she will play against Magnus Carlsen. Goodbye.